Hey, welcome to this. You know, I found a beta of Fedora 40 online. So I thought, just why not install it on real hardware? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So we got our USB stick right here. And we're just gonna plug it into the computer. Turn it on and spam that F9 key. Here we go. Let's boot into the USB stick and install Fedora 40. Now this is loading. So let's pop the installer. All right, here we go. We're in the installer. So English United Kingdom. Oh, here we go. This is unstable pre-release software. Notice, this is pre-release software that is intended for development and testing purposes only. Do not use this software for any critical work or for production environments. By clicking, I want to proceed. You understand and accept the risk associated with clearly software that you intend to use this for testing and development purposes only and are willing to report any bugs or issues in order to enhance this work. If you do not understand or accept the risks, then please exit this program by selecting I want to exit, which will reboot your system. I want to proceed. Here we go. So first things first, let's connect to the internet. So we're going to select our Wi-Fi network, connect, and type in our password. There we go, connected. Let's click done, done. And all right, here we go, closest mirror. So yeah, let's go into, let's go into software selection and select the KE Plasma workspace. I am going to get rid of the KDE that and go with the video lang client and um administration tools there we go now let's go partitioning we want to go on this drive click continue oh here we go so i already did all the partitioning myself so we're just going to use this vfat drive as slash boot slash efi format it as EFI system partition then click update then go into this ext4 partition free format slash now this is going to be my slash home and yes reformat update there we go partitioning done yup accept now we're going to enable the root account with the password root root double click the done button and user creation, we're going to go whale, whale 770 for the username, A, oh flip, A, and double click the done button. So yeah, everything looks good, begin installation. Alright, so it's installing now, I'm going to go do other things, and I'll be right back. Let's click the reboot button and once it reboots I'm removing the USB. Here we go. Let's see if this works. I've had a lot of... Oh my! It's working! Oh and I just knocked the camera. A few moments later. Alright here we are in SDDM. Let's log in. Let's see Plasma 6. Oh my god! Look at this. KD Plasma 6.0. Release Candidate 2. Whatever. So, this is it. This is Plasma 6. I really like this. Visually, it looks pretty much identical to Plasma 5. And I can still right click and enter edit mode. And what is this? Okay, this is... I've not seen this before. Well, first, we're going to turn floating off. And... 
Dodge Windows. What is Dodge Windows? Please tell me they've implemented an intelligently hide thing. <gasps> they have! Let's go! They've implemented it! Look! <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's find some new applications in here. So first, let's just look at this. Dolphin looks pretty much identical. The settings app. Whoa! Whoa! New settings app! And... Hey! They set it to... They set this thing to... Selects them instead of opens them by default. Which is really nice. Let's set this to breeze dark. And let's just keep the desktop and window layout. Alright! Whoa! I'm really liking this so far. Yeah, the appearance and style used to be up here, but now it's down here. Yeah, there's so many changes in here that I really like. And when it comes out, I'm I'm using it. Oh, and KTorrent's included, which is nice. And ooh, I keep knocking the camera over. What, what the? What have I just opened? Oops. Oh, flip. I want to report that. Um, yes, report. So, um, let's open up Colour Paint, see if, um, it has changed. Doesn't look like it. Whoa, new sound effect! Sorry, I keep knocking over the camera, let me just... There we go, shouldn't happen again. Here, let's just listen to these sound effects actually oh and the fonts the fonts anyway sound um how do i listen to the operating system sounds system sounds whoa whoa I really like this, let me... Okay, I don't really like that one. That's ported from GNOME, I think. Yeah. Anyway. So let's try and customise this a bit. So we're going to go enter edit mode, floating, and um, set the position. There we go. Alignment center. I think I can move this to the left as well, but... Keep it in the center. Dodge windows. Yes. Adaptive. Translucent panel. Let's make it a bit smaller as well. A bit smaller as well. Close that out. Close all of this out. And that actually looks really nice. Let's do some more customization. Actually, no, I don't think it looks that good on, on camera. There, that looks okay. I am going to turn off Bluetooth. And yeah. Oh, well, some, some zero are unknown. Yeah, I forgot to set the host name. I might actually do that right now. Let's open up console. Let's go sudo nano etc slash host name. Now, let's set the host name to HP Laptop. Yes, save that. Not whoa, whoa. Got virtual desktops now. Oh, and we got a little workspace switcher right here, just like in XFC. I'm probably going to move that. Now, let's add a widget. Can we move that? I don't think I can, no. Let's just try a regular task manager, see how that looks. I'm going to remove the icons only one. 
there we go that actually looks really nice oh look the shell just closed send automatic report yeah this is this is unstable software but look at this this looks a lot like windows and i like windows let's open discover see if see if it's changed and it looks like it has we got the home installed update settings and about up here instead of down here and the things are just whoa 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 the app page looks install from fedora linux okay let's go settings and see if we can install flat pack add flat hub new authentication dialog for oh, okay central repository of flat pack applications okay let's try and find install from fedora linux oh whoa, whoa, whoa. from fedora linux okay package not found install from fedora linux central repository of flatpak applications okay it should just say from flat hub but yeah and i think that concludes this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye